Good morning, modern steaders. It's about 44 degrees out this morning and foggy. Whoa, I almost slid down. We got about a half inch of rain between yesterday and last night. We have puddles everywhere. Talk about a muddy mess. The ground is just so saturated with all the rain we've gotten this year. Any little bit we get right now just pulls up. You would think it's springtime and mud season, as we call it. Watch out. You can get the chaff hay all over your head. You ready, Willow? The camera's making it seem a lot darker back here than it really is for some reason this morning. So I won't make you sit through a black stream. I'll be right back when I'm done milking. Did you finish all that chaff hay? Looks like it. <laughs> I bet all of the animals are like, when is it going to quit raining? <sighs> well, of course it's raining out. But we're gonna try to take advantage of this rain and we're gonna get our pile of brush, hopefully burnt today. Coming down so good right now, all the chickens are either under New York City or inside New York City. I don't know how this vlog is going to turn out today, but hopefully we can get this pile burnt. She's smoking pretty good. Hopefully it gets going and stays going. It's starting to get going. And then the rain decides to pick up a little bit again. Hopefully we can get that fire nice and hot. I'm hoping I can get the, some of the stumps burnt. It's more of this brush and that pile taken care of today. And that way we'll have more room to work in here and make another brush pile to burn later on. Found some dead pine limbs. Hopefully this will help a little bit.
we're battling the elements to build our farm. We want to get our, I want to get the farm cleared and built. It just makes me think, wonder though, like we don't have to do this to survive. This is something, this is our dream that we're working on building. But I can't imagine if like our livelihood or our life's dependent on getting the farm built and dealing with all this weather. Whew, we have it so easy in the modern times. Every, every time we get it going, the rain kicks back up. Hopefully the fire starts spreading more this way. It's starting to creep over. I don't know how well you can see that in there. I think it's going good now. Be nice to get a lot of this brush burnt up today. Even the chickens are coming out. You girls are all wet. Moose. We got about at least half of the pile burnt up so far. We got over here and some stumps. I'll tell you what though, I was feeling defeated this morning when we started burning. I almost didn't want to burn today. I was like, oh man, it ain't gonna go anywhere. All I can say is persevere and don't give up. No matter what you want in life, you kind of, a lot of times you gotta push through it and just go for it. It's not always easy. It gets easier as you go. And I'm feeling a lot better now about burning the brush pile. Just everywhere you walk, mud and puddles. Look at the water dripping out of that piece of maple. The fire's heating it up and it's evaporating and drying out all the wood. The rain's starting to pick back up, but I think that fire's hot enough. It doesn't matter how much it rains, unless we got like two inches in a half hour, that fire will stay going. We got most everything cleaned up. I gotta cut up that maple tree and a few more stumps and then just keep the pile picked up. I'm soaked. This jacket weighs about 20 pounds heavier than it did. I'm gonna go take it off and get the chainsaw. As soon as I got back in the house, it started raining good. So we're leaving the raincoat on. Whoa! That fire's still going good.
pretty sure I left my earphones in the excavator. Let me get those out. Yep. There they are. All right, let's choke it. Got one stuck over here. I guess I don't know how that got there, but I don't like that positioning. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear how raging that fire is, but it's roaring pretty good. It's starting to rain again, but I think we'll get it all burnt up pretty good. I am hot and muddy. Yes. Time to go inside. I had to change. I was soaked to the bone and covered in mud almost from head to toe. It's been a little while, so let's go check on the fire and reposition some of the wood and get it burning up good. It's only been about an hour. I can't believe how much it's burnt up. Awesome. Now it's funny guys, I feel so accomplished. That, I feel so accomplished that we got this, all the wood and stumps burnt up down to this little pile. When we first got started this morning, I felt defeated before I even started. I didn't think I was gonna get half the pile burnt. And now look at it. Sometimes when you're feeling down, just gotta get up and start. I think Andy, his ladies, and the ducks would like a little bit of grain this afternoon. Guys, go. Sounds like the chicks are doing good. They're ready for some more grain. Blossom and Buttercup and Willow. At least it's not raining out. You can be out. What are you guys doing, Figaro? Back out, trying to 
tidy up and make sure the whole pile gets burnt the best we can get it. That's a big old bed of hot coals right here. That's crazy. Gina came in a couple of days after we butchered the pigs and washed the butcher block tables down with salt and vinegar. And now I'm gonna use mineral oil, raw and rare. Let's see, focus. Food grade kosher certified enriched with vitamin E non-GMO. Gina did a bunch of research on this and I guess the vitamin E is to keep the mineral oil from going rancid. I'll have this listed in our Amazon shop, and there's a link in the description down below for that. And that's where she ended up finding this. You can see I got the grill going in the background. We're gonna grill up some steaks tonight for dinner. I'm gonna generously apply mineral oil. If you guys want to know what we use for a solution to clean this, leave it in the comments down below. And I'll talk to Gina to find out exactly how she made up the solution. Now you can even use this mineral oil on metal and the knives that I use for butchering are carbon the knives that I use for butchering are carbon steel, which means they will rust. So when I'm all done cleaning the knives and sharpening them, I'm going to put a thin coat of this mineral oil on those knives to keep them from rusting when they are stored. Olivia's at a friend's house right now. She's gonna go to the movies later on tonight. I am cooking up some grass-fed steaks. I haven't done that in whew, a long time. I'm looking forward to that. I got my grill nice and hot, and we are cooking up some tender ones. Put a little bit of salt on them. Let it cook up and flip it. Got a good sear going. Mmm, that piece of steak is looking delicious. I wanted to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts for coming along with us on our journey as we rebuild our farm here at Lumna Acres. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Bye.